Yes, today the new vision came out with research with the findings showing how government jobs are distributed per region. Very many people have always come out to ask for this research, but New Vision was courteous to conduct this research and it gave out results. We know, we all know that uh, this government has always been uh, tribalistic in nature, in the way of jobs, in the way of how jobs are given to different people, in the way how everything is handled from within the country. So today the New Vision came out with, with finding, uh, showing uh, how different regions are represented in government. So in this episode, I've come out to to uh, to expound on this, what in, it means for our country, and most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you are watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagali. There is a lot of content of this nature. If your politics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. I dedicate this video to the political prisoner, Olivia Rutaya, who has been in incarceration for more than three years. So the new vision today came out with a poll showing or, or showing how every region is represented on how jobs are given and the, the the region which came out with the most number of jobs was the western region with 47 percent uh followed by the northern region with 20 percent uh, followed by the central region 18 percent followed by the eastern region 15 percent but surprisingly the regions with the highest number of people are, are represented less when it comes to CEO jobs, okay? Or go, the head of government parastatos. Because we all know the central region is the most populous, but they are represented in eight, with 18%. The second most populous region is the eastern region with 15%, okay? The Arantia is already is mostly taken by the western region. But for me, this is not news because I've been following this for a long time. In 2018, the IGG, the Inspector General of Government, is an employee of government, made a similar research and wrote the report in Parliament that by that time it was at a tune of 52% of all government prestators came from the same region, speaking the same language. And this is one of the very biggest problems for Uganda. At every turn, at every turn, ever since we got independence, the presence at, at, at the helm normally influences how jobs are given in government. At the time of Obote, we saw the northerners in government, there were very many. At the time of Idi Amin, it was the same, okay? And even at the time of Museveni, it is still the same. I keep on telling people that the panacea of all this must be a federal system of government. A federal system of government where each region can handle its respective duties will be the best for all of us because every region will employ its own people. There will be no need to make such a poll to see which region is represented in government when every region has its own government. So this will remain until we, we get the right style of government to lead Uganda. That is the truth. Because Ugandans normally look at themselves as... Ugandans normally look at themselves through tribal mirrors before they look at, the, before they look at them themselves as Ugandans. That is the truth. Someone will, will look at himself as a Msoga before he does as a, a Ugandan. Someone will look at herself as a Mnyankole before he does as a Ugandan. Someone will look at herself as a Mchori, as a Muganda, before he does as a Ugandan. So the remedy of all this is a federal system of government. This system was never our making. This system was as a result of the colonies. Ugandans never sat down to make Uganda. Ugandans were not the one who drew the borders. 
So we must seed as a country. We must seed as a country to project what style of leadership we should take, which will be beneficial to all of us. The founding states of Uganda 13, they must sit again so that we can see how we can take our motherland ahead. But trust me, even if we get another president, it will be very hard not that president to gravitate towards his people. But if we get the right structure of government, if he wants to gravitate towards his people, the system of government will curtail him not to do so. Of course, that's my opinion. You can also tell me what you think by commenting on this video. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I implore to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you on another one. Peace.